Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a good morning, and for that matter, a great day. Today, I will be playing more Elden Ring. Uh, yesterday, I finished off the Crucible Night. Today, I'm planning to do a bit more of the main series boss. Go up to, like, Stormbell Castle, do a bunch of other dungeons and other things. So, that's the plan, sort of. I, I have a rough idea of what I'm gonna do. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, so, I'm over here heading up to Stormbell Castle, and then I see this large open courtyard. And I'm like... Yeah, so this is a boss fight, and there's even summons for it, so, uh... Yeah, no. I'm not gonna be doing... Or, well, I will be doing that in a moment. I, I went prior. I'm not gonna be doing that. Um... I went and explored around a bit. I explored here, got the map fragment from here, got the map fragment from here. Sort of just, uh, collected a bunch of stuff, didn't do anything. I haven't done this dungeon, it's called the Death Touched Catacombs, which is a pretty interesting place. Uh, I, I did go to Fort Heights, and then I saw this, like, dungeon, and the door opened automatically. And as soon as I saw that the door opened automatically, I was like, hell no, I'm not entering that. That's totally a trap that's going to lock me in there. So, you know, I also got invited to this funky little area down here called the table. Uh, the round table, more or less. Uh, Melina invited me. She just invited me, so now I can go there, and that's where the blacksmith and other people are. The main thing is just this. This boss fight right here. I'm pretty sure that this is a boss fight. Um, as you can see, I'm now rocking a greatsword, like I said I would be. Uh, it's a fairly fa fast greatsword, uh, comparatively to like the ultra greatswords that a lot of other people run. But, you know, I got my standard spells. I altered a couple things, unlocked a couple things. Foul Ooh. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Dude. He's kind of cool. Okay, so there's totally 100% a boss. <laughs> Great. I thought so, but I, I wasn't exactly sure, certain, so. Margit. Let me just summon everything. Ah, that's a fast attack, and then that's a, immediately followed up by a very slow attack. That one I was locked in hit stun. Or not hit stun. Um, ability lock or whatever it's called. Ah. I got one of the more fun items called the, uh... Wonderful Physic or something. It's the one that allows you to build a potion of your own. Ow? He has throwing knives. That's a... Uh, That's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, so, um, Margaret, the Fallen. But yeah, so here, here's my wondrous physic. Uh, I have a bunch of unique new stuff that I got while searching for other th things, more or less, just to do. I didn't really do anything major, I just sort of explored and unlocked a bunch of items. Which was the main goal. The physic was found in the church right here. In the third church of Mirica. 
but I have a bunch of, you know, fun little things that I was attempting, finding, you know. That, those knives are mean. Ow. That jump attack is hard to dodge. <laughs> That... This seems like it's gonna be another, like, introduction to being a very hard boss. But I guess it is locking away one of the more major areas in Stormvale Castle. I know that much. Ow. This man switches from having an extra sword to having a hammer and then throwing knives. That is kind of scary. The different options he can use allow him to string combos very nicely. Well, there goes all my summons. Damn, I, 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 I was kind of locked in end lag. That's the word for it, it's end lag. I like how they get startled. I find it funny. I know they're like my pets. I like my comrades, but I still laugh when they all get startled at the beginning of the fight. I mean, I'd be startled too if I were them, so... Okay, one hit. Oh, I stunned him? Really? I think I drank the physic here. He must have just a, a really low stun meter. Oh, dude, one of them's still alive. My boy. Of course I died to his throwing knives. I, I specifically remember. <laughs> Dude, try your damn this. No, no. Rip Larry. He died in vain. Dude, I think I'm going to finally try out the jellyfish. I have no idea how good the jellyfish is as a summon. I know that um the wolves are okay. I don't know about the jellyfish. I know the noble's alright, but like, I'm kind of a mage already. Do I really need the noble to be a mage too? <gasps> the jellyfish is arranged. Arranged melee spirit. Hell yes. Ooh. You go, girl. Ah. Uh. Doesn't deal a lot of damage. It is kind of beefy though, I'll give it that. His attacks are weirdly lagged. And like, I feel like some of them should hit when they aren't. 
Dude, that jellyfish is beefy. Oh my. That sword is scary. Dude, that jellyfish is thoroughly a beefy girl. Like, oh my. I don't care if the jellyfish itself doesn't have a gender, but mine's a female. Damn, I'm really liking the jellyfish now. I'm I'm keeping the jellyfish because that thing hella beefy and it can occasionally steal aggro. That's like really good. I really like the jellyfish and it's a cute little jellyfish. Ooh, I stunned him again. Ah, now nah, I missed. Doesn't mean if you stun, doesn't matter if you stun them. If it doesn't, you don't get to follow through on it, am I right? I, I mean, I guess it means that I've been keeping my stagger up on him, which is nice. I was concerned that the jellyfish actually wouldn't help too much with the stagger. It does seem, however, that the jellyfish uh, poisons him. Come on, Jelly. I believe in you. Me and you till the end. I love you. Give me a smooch. Tarnished? Yeah. But I... Are you gonna shut up? <laughs> Okay. You really had to say it for that long? But yeah, that's Stormvale Castle. But what's with me and beating bosses on like 10 HP? It always happens. Oh, I get two levels off. That's unusual. Boop. Now I have an actual survivable amount of health. But... That's the first thing I wanted to get done. Now, let me remove that marker. I wanted to do the Death Touched Catacombs. Yeah, so here at the Death Touched Catacombs, I don't necessarily know anything about this one. Other, like, other than the other one, which I did know, however. Oh, skeletons? I didn't even know that skeletons were gonna be here. Like, the other catacomb, I knew somewhat of the enemy variety and stuff. If you kill them while they're reviving, are they permanently dead? I assume so. Um... One, two, three... Wait till you revive... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, the skeleton enemies are pretty easy. Yeah, when you're the one who gets the first hit, apparently. Kill you. One, two, three. Kill you before you can revive. Kill you before you can revive. I just don't want them to revive because them reviving is bad. <laughs> like, these skeletons. I. Dude, how many times white light has been an item and you've thought it's an item and then it's just a candle? 
not too much for me, but like enough that it's like I should probably learn my lesson. But I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Oh, that's a coffin. I'm like, why do these look like chests? Because they're coffins. And one, two, three. Turn around, kill you permanently. Turn around, kill you permanently. Killing the skeleton seems to be, uh... Ooh, this is actually a pretty big dungeon. A katana? I'll apparently look at it when the archer is dead. Dead dead. <laughs> I almost opened up my inventory and started searching through for the katana. Okay, what's this katana? Dude, I need enemies to stop interrupting me. That one's dead. One, two, three. That one's down on the ground. There's apparently another archer. There's a lot of skeletons in here. Oh, there's a lot more skeletons than I thought there were. I'm gonna roll into here. Did that guy hit me with this roll? The disrespect, honestly? Don't you know it's rude to hit people with your, like, bones while you're rolling? Like, do you know manners? I kind of like the catacomb dungeons. I think they're fun, but... I don't know, maybe that's just me. I thought that was an item again. I keep falling for the candles. I think the candles are items. Like, jeez. Uh, there's the scimitar. Oh, I can finally look at the katana. Um, the katana builds up bleed. Yeah, it's just the previous katana I had. No complaints. No complaints. Um, and then I have the straight sword, but yeah, it's just a katana, yeah. I mean, being a katana is cool, <laughs> like having a katana is cool and all, but, uh, like I know I raved about how good it was, but I, I, I kind of like great swords a bit more. At least for the time being. And this great sword's actually decently leveled up, and it's not too slow, which is my biggest problem with most great swords. This one's like reasonably slow. It that was surprisingly short. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And this is where I die. Nah. I don't die. I'm immortal. I'm not immortal. Uh, I'm just, uh, unkillable? Like, how does being a tarnished work? Like, what's the downside for dying as a tarnished? Like, in Dark Souls, the downside is, uh, you slowly lose more and more of who you are. Which... Fair. Fair. <laughs> but in this, like, what... What happens? If you die a lot, is there a downside? Are you encouraged to die a lot? Who knows? So this one's going to be a skeleton. Um. It's missing a large part of its health. That 
Rather, my jellyfish does uh, did an insane amount of damage to it. It may just be weak to poison. Why are you just running away? You don't even hurt that much. Running light on this great sword is mean. I meant running jump light. Because uh, you will catch most NPCs that play like humans out like that. Okay, that was a very underwhelming boss. Yeah, no, that was extremely underwhelming. Especially compared to like crits restore HP. I haven't found a talisman. <laughs> really like so yeah but I was a very underwhelming dungeon for a dungeon it was like I'd give it a two two out of ten bad dungeon only reason why it's not a one is because I like catacomb dungeons okay now do I have my whistle on this no I don't Okay, now we go up. And you may go, why are we going up? Because of this fellow right here. I'm going to help him. I have no idea what it does. I don't know what it means. Why is it always friend? Yes, I would love to help you. My thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear. With and I'll pop. Don't dally. No, no, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Okay, so I need to smack you in the rear with the good wallop. Oops. Boom. You're out. I told you. Well played, good lady. Uh-huh. Though so that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. Yeah, that would be a <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. Yeah. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. Ooh. Thanks. Once again, the pleasure is mine. Iron I Fist Alexander. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. Okay. Beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Kaled Wilds. Yeah, Kaled Low Wilds, I don't like it. Castle in which a festival of combat is being held. Ooh. I've heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> yeah, sorta. Anyway, I have a good one. That was, uh, he gave me some meat. I, I was expecting, you know, nothing in return. So, something in return's nice. You know, one of those re expect nothing, receive something. Happy about it. This one's gone mad. It's not like the other ones of it. It's actually gone mad, so it will stomp its head into the ground repeatedly. Which is uncommon for them, actually, so. Now, I will meet you at the next location I wanted to go. So, now that I'm here, some of you may ask, why am I here? Well, it may have to be night. No, it doesn't have to be night. There's a fellow here waiting to uh, have a fun time. 
Welcome to Spirit Summon Water Village. That guy right there is the Mariner. Oops, I accidentally double enchanted. The Mariner summons in enemies to help it. Still to sort of defend it from, you know, offensive attacks while it's, it remains typically in the back while its skeletons go and attack you. Ooh, did I stagger it or something? That's a stagger. Can I, is there, I wonder how you get the critical on that one. You going up? Ow, that kind of hurt. Not a lot, but a little bit. One. One. I wonder what happens if you do, is it just if you double kill or? So where'd the Mariner go? He's obviously somewhere in the village because it's the only place with water and I'm pretty sure he can only be on the water. I don't wanna leave, so. Where's the mariner? I feel like I can kill him. If I knew where he was. Ah, oh, there he is. Ah, oh, you mariner. Another Mariner, another Misfortune. Ow. It kinda hurts. One, two, three, four. And dead. Enemy felled. That's another boss done. Ah, yes. Skeleton army. For an a uh, for a summon, not that bad, but I don't think much will ever defeat the you know my love for the jellyfish. My love for the jellyfish is pretty good. I love the jellyfish. The jellyfish is my good friend. There's not more of a friendly face than a jellyfish along your side. There's some dudes down here, but other than that, I... That guy has a cool side. I would love to get that. If he wants to give me his scythe, that'd be pretty cool. No? Oh, you revived? I thought I killed you fully. There. Now you're dead. For good. Hey. Right. That's this place. Damn mosquitoes. Die. That's what you get. Um. Okay. So. This girl down here asked me to go talk to her grandfather who's down here in the castle. I talked to her earlier. She's apparently one of the nobles of the house. I will do that in a bit. I may even do it in another episode later on. I'm going to do whatever the door thing was, where it opens the door like automatically and then locks. You. I assume it locks you in. I don't know. I, I just, I don't trust contraptions that open on their own. If the toilet bowl opens on its own, how do I know it doesn't have a mind of its own? And here it is. It's just like a weird box thing. I don't know what it does. I don't know what it's for, but it has a door and this door automatically opened and it desummons your horse. And I'm like, I don't know how much I trust this place. It didn't seem to lock me in, at least. That's half the concern, so, I don't know, maybe it's 
not that bad. Maybe it's another boss fight? I mean, the barriers outside are a boss enough for me, but like... Who knows? Maybe someone... Maybe they're gonna throw an actual fight fight at me. This is really deep. Oh my. Oh my. Elden Ring's a really cool game. I like... Just... The Undercity. <laughs>